I wanted to make a quick video going over the input for Caddis. Uh, I gave you a giant chunk of code that a lot of this code is kind of magic code at this stage. We're going to learn all the details about how this code works throughout the course. But in order to use Caddis, I kind of had to throw some of it at you and cross my fingers and hope that some of it sticks. So this right here is a complete solution to the carrots problem on Caddis, this one right here. But there's a lot going on, and I'd like to spend a little bit of time going through all the details within it. So if we were to just copy paste this into the carrots question, it would work just fine. But there's like one, two, three, I guess four things going on here, but I'm gonna play around a little bit. So I'm gonna take each piece of, the, of these code and I'm gonna analyze them separately. So I'm gonna put this here, I'm gonna create another block, and I'm gonna put this here create another block and I'll put this here and you know what I'll get rid of all these comments because we don't need them right now just so it's a little bit cleaner so what input is going to do is wait for you to give some input like hello and well I mean it doesn't look like it did very much but if I were to immediately say something like This was inputted, followed by data, hello. We see that hello was added, great. Um, also, always note the type of what the input is, no matter what. So if I say hello, I mean, this is obviously a string. If I run it again and put in like 111, which looks like an integer, it's actually gonna read it as a string. So more on this in a moment. So all input does is it reads in everything you say, then you hit enter, and it stores that big long string in data. And if I hit run, and I just make this one really, 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 really long string, it's fine with that. It's absolutely fine with that. Now, if you really wanted, you could put it like a message in here, but, uh, and it like, you know, it, it's a little helpful, like give me something okay fine you know great but if you ever do this in caddis caddis is going to be very mad at you so just don't do that but we can clearly see right here anyways if we read in the data and then we immediately print it out that's what we get great so whatever it reads in it reads it as one big string in this case it's only three characters long but whatever it is it reads it in this one string now here's what we're going to say sometimes we want to read in multiple things. Caddis is going to do this a lot, where it's going to give us multiple pieces of information on one line. So it might have like a number, like, and if we go look at uh, the carrots question, it does say it's going to give us two, which is the number of participants, and one is the number of problems solved. So we know that it's going to be like two, one. But as far as Python's concerned right now, data is just one string of two space one. So what we want to do is split that string up into the two strings, kind of like the, the substrings. So we're gonna tell the data to split, and then we're gonna reassign that back into data. Now, when we say split, by default, it's gonna split on space characters, but you can put in whatever character you want in here as a parameter, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's do that and then print um, type of data. Okay, so right now, data is two, one. So now we see that data is two and one. And the type of data is now what we call a list. We're gonna learn a lot about lists in a couple of weeks. But right now, it's you can think of it kind of as a handy way to store multiple pieces of information in one thing. Like in, in one list, we have multiple strings. We're up here before. Let's run this again and put in a little bit more information. Hello world, fun, I love 161. There we go, I hit enter, okay, and I'm gonna hit run. And let's think for a second, how many, if I split this string, how many strings will we have? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, perfect, because it did it on the spaces. Great. Now, if we ever want to get one of these things, we have to think of this list as like, like we can index this list basically with these square brackets. And this says, give me the thing at location one. But you'll notice that if I ever do print 
there's no carrot here. If I ever do that, it's world. And you might think, well, wait a minute, one is hello, not world. That's actually because in computer science, we like to start, often we like to start counting at zero. So if we put in zero, we'll get hello. And then one is actually like the thing after the first one. You might think that's funny, but you know, the convention kind of comes from, like you can kind of think of the numbering here as an offset. So like go to the beginning of this list and take zero steps basically. So if you go here and take zero steps, you get hello. If you go here and take one step, you get world. Four, three steps, you get one, two, three, you should get off. See, anyway, <clears throat> great. So here we go, we print out caret. Uh, if we go back up here, let's put in two, one again, run it, looks good. We run this, well, data three. Oh, sh you know what, because there is no such thing as data at location three, we better turn this back to one because this responded, this corresponded to the number of problems solved and we get one, pro one caret for every problem. So we hit run, oh my goodness, I'm all, oh my goodness, it's because data was a list and I tried to split a list. I'm making all these mistakes, guys. Let's start over. Two, one. Okay, now data is the string two space one. Now we split it, it's the list of the string two and then the string one. Then we get data at location one and that's the number one, great. But you might remember, what is the type of all the things that we ever read in with um, the input button or the button, input function? It's always gonna be a string. So if we ever want to convert something into like a, into a number, we can by doing something like this. Int of, and then let's just, I'm, sh I'm lazy, so I'm gonna copy paste. So we should see, okay, it's, it's one, it's a string, and then we say, no, 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 okay, carrots turn into an integer, go back into carrots, so carrots is now the integer one, print out that, well, it's a one, but now we know that its type is uh, an integer. Now, what I've showed you here, I mean, if you were to copy paste all this into the carrots question, it's gonna say wrong because we're outputting a lot of extra stuff that it's not interested in. But the stuff I've given you here is going to be more or less very, very, very similar for a lot of the Caddis problems. You're gonna have to hack this code a little bit to, to work the way you need it to for the Caddis problems because this is set up for the carrots one because carrots gives us one line with two numbers on it but maybe we have one line with three numbers on it followed by another line with two numbers on it and we have to read those in. While we might need two inputs and then we need to split two different strings to get the substrings and all that, there's a lot going on. But with all this, even though there's a lot of magic code in here, you should be able to hack it to get what you need done. 